Welcome back, everyone. In the previous video, we uh, took a look at uh, working with uh, Report Builder, building our first report and publishing it. In this video, we want to go ahead and add an indicator and see how we can make some changes in editing and formatting numbers. So let's take a look. This is where we left off. We had our uh, report, which we could run, and we also published it. Let me go ahead and run this report so we can see that we have the same report we had before. Occasionally, this thing does uh, freeze up on you, which uh, would require you to pretty much uh, uh, stop it and restart it, or basically close that and restart it. And I'm, I'm going to wait to see what uh, Windows uh, or Report Builder has to say about this. So it took a while, but it came up. So this is the report that we have. I'm going to go back to Design View and make some changes. For one, I'm going to give this uh, a title, Customer Spending Report. It's a nice title. And then what I like to do is go ahead and add uh, an indicator. And to do that, first let's understand that we have the labels up here and then we have the data fields over here. I can just right click this data field and choose to insert, in my case, uh, a column to the right. So that's going to insert a column. And I'm going to call this uh, up here, double click in it, put an indicator. Then in here, I'm going to right click and choose to insert an indicator. You can see you can put a lot of other things in here. And this brings up this area and this uh, initially shows you everything. If you select any particular ones, it jumps to that section. But uh, pretty much, let me go ahead and select the traffic light indicator and choose OK. Now this by itself really doesn't do anything. If I were to run the report at this point, this is what you have nothing shows up. So let's go back and click on the indicator and then click again if you need to. So you have this uh, little rectangle show up and then over here you have various options. You could click the little arrow down here and go to indicator properties or you could right click it up here and go to indicator properties. Either way is fine. First, a name. Let's go ahead and call it total due. It's a good name. And then down below, I have values and states. Notice by default that Report Builder divides things up in percentages and does, because this is a traffic light, a third, a third, a third over here. I want to deal with real numbers over here, so I'm going to change this to numeric. And I have a pretty good idea what my ranges are, so I'm going to say that for customers who don't spend a whole lot, maybe less than $10,000, that will be red, and then 10,001 to let's say $50,000. That's yellow, and then $50,000 and one to let's say million dollars. It will be green. Now this by itself is not good enough. If I were to just click OK and run the report, you notice I still don't get anything. That's because we still need to go in here and let me right click this and choose indicator properties and tell it exactly what value are we dealing with over here under values and state. We didn't select the value. And what I want to do from this selection is to pick the sum total due. So that's what I'm going to do and then click OK and run it. All right, so we have a great uh, you know, indicator now. It gives us an idea. We can sort by this stuff. You know, which customers are the, the ones that spend the most, which ones spend kind of medium, and which ones don't spend as much. It still would be nice if we could hover over this and get a value, which we are not getting. There is a tool tip option. Also, our values right here for total due, for instance, or freight and tax amount subtotal are showing up to four decimal places, which I really don't like. So let's see how we can make those changes. I'm going to go to the indicator and right click and choose indicator properties. And then we have this tooltip. You can put anything you want in this tooltip. Um, and uh, notice there is a function button which allows you to pick various fields here and make changes. Now I have actually created uh, a formatted, uh, you know, uh, 
function, which I'm going to paste here and I'll keep it up so you guys can see it for, for a little while. But this is a C string, so we're converting it to a, um, a string. We're formatting the fields. And if you take a look down here, the various fields are available. So I could go and pick up total do, for instance, and that would be the field. If I were to do that, you see that shows up fields, total value, value, which is what I have in the formula. So I have that, and I'm taking the format uh, function that's built in and formatting it as a monetary by putting a dollar sign, and this is a numeric to two decimal places. Because this is a tooltip and it needs to be uh, a, num uh, a, a string, we also use the C string function. Now this is not, you know, anywhere in particular that uh, you can find in the documentation. It took me several hours to find how to do this. I'm going to click OK to get that tool to be noticed. It shows up as just an expression. While we're at it, let's go ahead and right click some total and choose uh, uh, expression to take a look at it. What I can do for the sum total uh, is do the same formula. So I'm going to come over here and paste that formula right here. And that's my total do basically and click OK. You know what, for the indicator, let's go ahead and make another small adjustment to the uh, indicator properties. And I'll change this to have a little string in front of it too. I'm going to say total do and use an ampersand to concatenate it with that string and I have an extra space here which I don't like so that looks good click OK and OK let's go ahead and run this and see what we get okay so I am getting my uh, numbers and if I hover over an indicator it shows total due with that amount which is perfect except that I see a small problem that these numbers are left aligned so let's go back to design view select this expression and right align it like the rest of these and then run it and that looks good now we could go and for freight tax amount on subtotal also make them be you know, dollar sign with two decimal places. I'm going to leave that for you guys to do. Hopefully you will do it. Let's go ahead and save this. Now, the fact that I save it, and previously I had saved it as uh, a publishing to this website, it should override it. I can do this. I'm going to say yes, just saving it one more time. Let's go back to our browser and do a refresh. And let's take a look at our report, see if our indicators show up. So here's my customer report. I'm going to click on it and see if the update is taking place. So I have my title, which is great. I've got these to two decimal places. How about the hovering over? Shows up. Beautiful. This report is getting to look better and better. That's all I wanted to cover for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you are enjoying these, please share with loved ones and friends. As always, thank you for being a great audience and see you in the next video.